It is Friday. It's the 13th of September. I'm Juanita Rajpal. This is CNN News Center, live from Hong Kong. Our top stories today. It was a brutal crime that's ended with the harshest of punishments. Four men in India have been sentenced to death for gang raping and murdering a young woman on a bus in Delhi last December. Her family say they are happy with the verdict and believe justice has been done. Well, let's bring in the very latest now reaction from Sumnima Udas. She joins us now live at the courthouse in New Delhi. What was the reaction from within the courtroom, Sumnima? Monique, I was just outside the courtroom, and as soon as the courtroom doors opened... Sumnima, the... thank you for that. Sumnima Udas reporting to us there from New Delhi. Two days of talks between U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov have ended with an agreement to keep talking. The two men were in Geneva to discuss how to bring serious chemical weapons under international control. They announced at a news conference just over an hour ago that they'd meet again later in September. No, well, CNN's Jim Shuto is following the talks in Geneva and Switzerland. He joins us now live. Uh, so, Jim, at the end of the day, there was uh, the only agreement that was made was that they would continue to talk. Well, that's right. And Secretary Kerry saying this morning that both sides have quote, homework to do in the meantime, particularly Jim on the... Jim Shuto in Geneva, thank you so much. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Still to come, evacuations ordered in parts of the U.S. state of Colorado. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. I'm Monita Rajpal. Let's bring you up to date on some of the other stories we're following for you today. At least three people have been killed and 20 others injured after an attack on the U.S. consulate in western Afghanistan. The attackers opened fire on the compound before setting off a truck packed with explosives. The uh, Taliban have claimed responsibility for the attack. Philippine President Benigno Aquino visited the southern city of Zamboanga on Friday, where government troops uh, and rebels are still locked in a standoff. Members of the Moro National Liberation Front set fire to several parts of the city on Thursday. Firefighters were prevented from getting too close because of the threat from rebel snipers. Officials say at least 100 houses were destroyed. Japan is asking for foreign advice on how to deal with the ongoing nuclear fallout at the crippled Fukushima power plant. The Tokyo Electric Power Company says it has discovered increased levels of the radioactive element tritium in tanks holding hundreds of metric tons of contaminated water. Twelve people were killed after a fire broke out at a psychiatric hospital in western Russia. According to Russian state media, more than 20 people are still missing. A criminal investigation has begun into the cause of the fire. A fast-moving fire has destroyed part of an iconic boardwalk in the U.S. state of New Jersey. The Funtown Pier was destroyed by a Superstorm Sandy last year and had just reopened for business. At least 20 buildings have been damaged or destroyed. A CNN affiliate says some people were treated for smoke inhalation, but there are no reports of fatalities. Parts of the U.S. state of Colorado is dealing with historic flooding. Meteorologist Mari Ramos is at the World Weather Center with more on that. Mari? You know, Monita, these uh, images are just tremendous. When you uh, see this kind of flooding, they're talking about... Yeah, incredible pictures there, Mari. Thank you very much. The gun controversy in the United States has taken another twist. In Iowa, the law allows anyone who meets the basic requirements to carry a firearm, and that includes blind people. Ted Rollins has that story. CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Much more still to come. Stay with us. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Twitter has taken its first step to go public. It announced on Thursday, in fewer than 140 characters, mind you, that it made a confidential filing for an IPO with U.S. regulators. Felicia Taylor reports. It's a news flash that they'll be tweeting about for a long time to come. For months, there's been speculation in the tech world that Twitter would be the next big social media company to go public. Switching gears here on News Center, well armed and organized ivory poachers are wiping out Kenya's elephants, but national park rangers are taking them on. Just this week, the Kenyan Wildlife Service reported shooting three suspected poachers. Zane Virgie caught up with some Kenyan park rangers to find out what they face. Elephants in the cool, muddy water causing a splash. 
CNN's Zane Vergy reporting there. Meanwhile, experts are saying Kenya's elephant population could be extinct by 2023 if we don't stop poachers and take action now. You're watching CNN News Center. I'm Onita Rajpal, live at CNN Hong Kong. Thank you for joining us. I'll update you the news headlines in just a couple of weeks.